Toronto's December shockwave. See what's changed. Stay tuned to know more. Hey, hey, this is Sir Ashish Sharma, your realtor with Right at Home Realty Brokerage. In today's video, we're gonna unlock market stats for beautiful city of Toronto for the month of December 2023. And we're gonna give you a lot of interesting number about what happened in pandemic, peak pandemic, and then this year, what was the bottom, what was the peak. So stay tuned to know more because this is the interesting video to know more as the number of sales also hit the lowest. So lot of interesting facts in this video. So stay tuned. Let's unlock real estate. Okay, so let's start with the average price. So average price for the city of Toronto is hovering around 1.06 million, which is up 4.4% year over year. Yes, you heard me right. And 1.1% month over month. When we see the trailing average for the last 12 months, which is technically the whole year average for 2023 from January of 2023 to December of 2023, as we are reporting the number for December 2023, the trailing average for the whole 2023 is 1.08 million for city of Toronto for all property types. And remember my followers, my viewers, that this number, this data is only for city of Toronto based on Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. If you are looking for any other municipality, any other property type, because data is the key and you need to make the informed decision, right? So reach out to me on the number provided. I'll be happy to assist you, help you and navigate you throughout this market. And if you are planning to buy, sell and invest, I'm always there for you. Amazing. Now, let me give you some interesting facts about the prices. What happened? So let's start with the 2023 first. Okay. So January 2023, the average price hit the bottom after the pandemic peak, which happened in April 2022. Okay. So April 2022 prices were hit around 1.24 million. Then Bank of Canada started increasing interest rate. January kind of hit the bottom till now. January of this year 2023 and that time prices reach around 0.99 million and if we just see 2023 January 2023 was sitting around 0.99 million correct May 2023 because we saw the pause from Bank of Canada so market ticked up again and the market reached 1.20 million in the month of May 2023 yes in in merely five months market picked up 21.2 percent up for city of Toronto then fast forward to December number reporting number December 2023 we are sitting at 1.06 million when we compare the December number with the January number we have seen that Throughout the year, there is an uptick of 7.6% in the average price from January to December 2023. But when I compare the same December number, which is right now in your screen, 1.06 million with the May 2023 peak, like kind of like this year peak kind of stuff, it is down 12.2%. And when I compare this December number with the actual pandemic peak, which happened in April 2022, where the prices were 1.24 million we have seen a decline of 14.5 percent from the pandemic high so guys i have no words make informed decision data is in front of you you are seeing the patterns things are happening nobody can predict the future nobody if somebody tells you this is gonna happen they are wrong let me tell you they are wrong nobody knows ultimately market decide how it is reacting but it is your responsibility to make the educated decision based on the data so reach out to me let's see how the sales activity look like so 1266 transaction happened for the month of december 2023 which is the technically the second lowest transaction in this year and as you can see last year it is up nine percent year over year and this in a month period it is down 21.2 percent in january of 2023 in this year 1108 transaction happened which is the lowest than the december month and overall when i was comparing the data for the last 12 years since 2012 till now i saw that 2023 overall number of sales is the lowest but based on the news and stuff as well we are seeing the news though i haven't verified that news that 
the number of sales are the lowest in this 2023 year in last 23 years but i haven't verified that but based on the last 12 years i can tell you that 2023 is the lowest number of sales overall activity in city of toronto let's see how the individual property types look like detached properties are sitting around 1.63 million with 371 properties exchange hand semi detached at 1.17 million Link property is 1.08 million with three properties exchange hand and freehold townhouse is at 1.42 million with 40 properties exchange hand. Let's see how the condo market did in city of Toronto for the month of December 2023. And stay tuned, the, the video is still pending. A lot of interesting other facts regarding the month of inventory and days on market. It plays a huge role. So don't go away and watch till the end. So condo townhouses are averaging around 0.93 million with 72 properties exchange hand and condo apartments at 0.71 million with 641 properties exchange hand. Let's see how the month of inventory and average days on market look like. Let's discuss month of inventory. 3.5 months of inventory for city of Toronto according to the December 2023. And remember guys, this number is calculated monthly. Prep provide data for the trailing average. This is just for monthly because Mark data is the key and you need to know what is happening monthly basis right and when we dig deep more we saw that semi detached properties are going are has only very few months of inventory which is sitting around 1.1 months and condo apartment has the highest sitting around 4.7 months let's see how the average days on market look like it is taking on an average 33 days for any properties to get sold in city of toronto for the month of December 2023 and when we dig deep we saw that link properties are flying out which though we only saw like three transactions but it only took like 23 days for those properties to get sold whereas the highest side condo townhouses condo apartment freehold townhouses are taking on average of 35 days to get sold and remember guys this data is only for your informational educational purposes this is not any kind of ed uh, financial advice reach out to the respective professional to seek a financial advice right and if you are not working with any realtor reach out to me i'll be happy to assist you to help you and navigate you for your buy sell and investing need because i am on a mission to unlock real estate so as i always say keep on learning keep on hustling keep on growing until next time have a good one